It's uh, going to the thrift store. <laughs> Today I'm here with another unhaul video. I have a bunch of books that I am getting rid of and giving them to my local thrift store. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first two books are part of the same series and I absolutely despise them so very much. I have a rant review if you're interested to hear my full thoughts on them. But they are the, um, oh, don't even remember what this is called. It's like the Kate Garber, Kate Glarber something series, but they're both by Carrie Harris. First book is Bad Taste in Boys and the second one is Bad Hair Day and they were just that good, so I do not want them. The next book that I have is Bittersweet by Sarah Ockler and I read this and I did not like it. I found the main character to be super hypocritical and she just pissed me off a lot. I really like the cover because of the color. It's just a really pretty blue, but just not a good book. The next book I actually did really enjoy, but I just have way too many books on my shelves and need to make room for more, so I'm getting rid of it, and it is The Enemy by Charlie Higson. It's like a zombie book, which I've just read so many zombie books by now, it's just they're getting old to be honest. It was an interesting book, but I just don't need it on my shelf anymore. The next book is Choker by Elizabeth Woods, and I hated this book. I bought it because of the cover, and just, it was so predictable. I knew exactly what was going to happen within the first, like, 30 pages of the book. Just a hardcore nope. The next book I am giving away is After by Amy Ifa, and this is a book that follows, like, the dumpster baby phenomenon thing where somebody gives birth to a baby and then throws it in the dumpster and it's basically like the trial of that. An okay read but the ending really bothered me. I just hated it and I just... I don't need it on my shelf, so it's going to the thrift store. The next book I have is Brother by David Chardonnay. Chardonnay? I don't know how to say this, but I recently read this book and I gave it a 2.5 out of 5 stars. It was okay. I can see why a lot of people would like it, but I just felt that it was way too slow, and your girl is into, like, thriller books, so when books are slow, I have no interest in it, so I'm getting rid of it because I just don't need it on my shelf. The next book I have is Shadow Girl by Leanna Liu, and this was advertised as, like, a paranormal mystery, but it is definitely not a paranormal mystery, so I was very upset about that because I wanted to really like it. It sounded really cool but it just wasn't what it was advertised as so don't need it on my shelf. The next book I really did not like. It's Disconnected by Lisa M. Cronkite. The book premise was really cool. It's basically this girl named Millie is getting bullied by a girl named Amelia and she's constantly trying to get away from Amelia. The only thing is is that Amelia lives inside Millie's head so I thought it was going to be this super great mental illness book and it just was not. The way that mental illness was portrayed in this book was just not well researched and just some of the things that were written I just do not agree with so I don't want it on my shelf. The next book I have I really 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 did not like. It made me very angry when I was reading it and it is a What the Valley Knows by Heather Christie. I cannot stand this book. This huge thing happens in it. I'm going to tell you guys what it is so spoiler for this book but basically the main character is raped and then the police officer who she tells ends up telling her boyfriend about the rape and I'm pretty sure that that's illegal. It just was not handled well and I just nope just no. The next book I have is Before the Fall by Noah Hawley and I can see why a lot of people like this book as well but personally I thought it was very slow. All the characters were really unique and they all had a really cool backstory. The story is definitely character driven but I just wanted it to be more exciting which I didn't find it to be. And then the final book I have is actually because I already have a copy of it so I didn't need to on my shelf but it is Pretties by Scott Westerfeld. I have not read this series yet but I have all the books so maybe one day I'll actually get around to reading them but I just don't need two copies of it so off to the thrift store. Alright guys, so that was my little unhaul for this video. Let me know down below if you've read any of the books and if you actually enjoyed them or not, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!